G'day everybody, welcome to this uh, Q&A session. You wouldn't believe how many takes I took to get to this state. So, I don't know, stuff just happens. It's just my brain. It just fizzes out sometimes. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people can relate. So, a lot of people have been asking me about a few things and a few issues that they've been going through uh, with their resin art. So, I thought I might just do this uh, and try and... Um, help out a few people one of the questions uh, how to use the torch and how to use a heat gun and what's the difference between using those two and the hair dryer okay so I will start with a hair dryer straight off the hair dryer dryer usually has a really powerful force so you can create some really awesome effects just by using a hairdryer, always start from high above and bring it down. Do your blow, blowy thing, and then pull it back up and see what needs, uh, what else needs to to happen in your piece. But a lot of the times, if you're using a lot of transparent pigments in your resin, or even your just your acrylic pour, um all of those uh, colors will kind of blend in with each other they'll mingle and they'll create a bit of mud so you just got to be careful with that but if uh, resin is good um, for for the hair dryer because usually if you are being very careful and not applying too much force you just do the blow and then kind of release step back have a look at it and see what happens okay so now that you've created all of that stuff there's a plane flying over <laughs> haven't heard a plane in months anyway um now that that has happened you may you i'm um, you're guaranteed to get some uh lacing some beautiful kind of um cells and some kind of uh feathery effects so you want to emphasize them so that's when you go in with your um, heat gun because the heat gun is it's quite hot but the force is not as strong as a hairdryer a hairdryer will just blow the crap out of it okay so <clears throat> you use your heat gun uh, very controlled and uh, and create controlled effects so wherever you can see a cluster of cells or lacing or any kind of effect that you you really like those feathery wispy effects and you want to emphasize them you want to uh, kind of widen them and make them bigger and and spread them out a little bit you use your heat gun on a low speed it's still very hot start from up above always start from high up and then go down as as you go and watch your piece don't just it, it's not it doesn't just happen you just don't just do it and it happens you've got to control it you've got to control the force you've got to control the speed and if you've got just a simple um, heat gun which are the best I, I really believe they are the best because you are using your hand like a like a paintbrush really um, you like you're using a paintbrush and then you go down and you can see kind of spreading pull it up and then watch it if you want it to spread a certain way then you kind of go sideways a little bit and push it over if you want it if you want that uh, pigment which is closer to you and closer to your heat gun go further down lower if you want that pigment to blow over the pigment which is in front of it go down low and you're kind of pushing that from underneath up and over that I, it, there, I'm sure there's a science to it you know I don't know I just go by feel and I've been doing this for years now guys so I, I it's very hard for me to explain how it all works scientifically and technically and all that stuff I can't explain to you but I know the movements and I become my tool you know uh, like I, uh, my whole body becomes whatever I'm using to create 
whatever I want to create, you know, and it takes a lot of practice. But I, I wish somebody had told me some of these techniques when I first started. But when I first started, it was just pouring. You know, you're just pouring the colors and then you kind of just uh, tilt it. And then further down the track came swiping. And I remember years ago when I started adding actual gems and I didn't even have the gems. I just had some old jewelry, which like necklaces and things like that, which I didn't want to use anymore and I never used before. So I just pulled them apart and I put them on. And now, you know, geodes. You're getting all kinds of things. But this is how things start. They start by just using what you have and seeing what happens, really. And a lot of the times, that's what I do. Let's just see what happens, you know. Um, so a lot of things happen accidentally. A lot of these new techniques, and I've noticed people on um, YouTube say, new technique, this and that, that's been around for years already. Somebody has already done it, but they've just discovered it. So it's a new technique, you know, and they call it something. Um, all of these things really happen accidentally um, because you just something happened you spilled your 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 gems or you spilled your your pigment onto something and wow look at that how it uh, how it worked the transparency and the um, the opaques this happened accidentally many years ago like a hundred years ago or something this paint uh, this um, painter this artist uh, an Italian artist um, spilled some paint on on his floor accidentally and uh, and he got all these cells and uh, the story goes that he asked someone I don't know it was his girlfriend or somebody like that who was a scientist and they researched it and they did this thing where they say that you know the opaques and the transparency put together which is really great if you're doing some acrylic pouring to get those beautiful cells use your uh, uh, opaques and your transparents together in a dirty pour you're guaranteed to get cells without any additives no silicon no nothing okay so it, it all happens accidentally but it had happened already it's, it's somebody had happened they had uh, had it happen to them so I'm sure a lot of you will relate when I say this that I've had this idea years ago and uh, either I did it or I didn't do it but then somebody else comes up with it and it's 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 there and you're thinking wow that's it's it's just amazing to me how we are all connected in in some way uh, especially artsy people because I don't know I think we're really intuitive and we really connect with our inner self and that's another story for another day and I know my an art therapist is coming out now however I do digress sometimes that's also an artsy thing to do so okay so we talked about the torch we actually we haven't talked about the torch we talked about the heat gun and the blow dryer the hair dryer so we're going to talk about the torch a little bit now. The torch is amazing, especially if you want to create cells. But you uh, you have to control your torch. You, you, like uh, I have several different uh, sizes of torches. Okay, so I don't know if that came out right. But anyway, um, so I've got a small torch, which it's, it's really good because it's just a trigger. You just click on it and it's a really pointy kind of flame which is awesome if i want to create some cells with my white my angel white and what i do is i just go really quickly and really close and you may get a little bit of smoke coming up that's okay it's just the resin reacting with the with the heat and then pull back and watch what happens okay so leave that area Go on to another area. If you're doing um, like an ocean scene where you've got your blue and you've got your, your teal green 
or your whatever colors you're using and then you apply your white with a little bit of clear because clear really helps that white kind of do its thing um, and then you're going in one area with your torch pull back watch it happen don't worry about the time it only takes seconds really between the the layers and then you go again to your other part of where your white is just to create those little cells and that's what you will get with the torch okay and then I've got the medium sized torch which is not as pointy you know it's um, it's a little bit around it so I, I kind of use that one for bigger pieces to do the same thing and then I've got a real big torch which I use for real big pieces and mainly to blow out the bubbles because you want to get rid of the bubbles and a good way to do that is with the blowtorch um, so you need a few tools really if you want to create some uh, really awesome art um, you you need to learn when to use which tool okay so the big torch i do use uh, for bigger pieces and it's it's kind of a, just a big old flame and it goes over it it does its thing it does create cells and things um, and it also is really good to uh, eliminate all those bubbles and you will get bubbles in your artwork and you you do need to get rid of them so as a newbie um you're probably thinking now, oh bloody hell, do I have to get everything? Do I have to get use my hair dryer? I have to use my torch, all these different sizes. Do I have to get a a, a, a heat gun? Which which one to get? You don't have to get everything. I would recommend a heat gun. Because at the end of the day, the heat gun will do all the, the job of all of the other instruments that you have. People even use the um, the airbrush. I had to think then because I couldn't think of the name of it. People even use the airbrush. But the airbrush is just a little bit, it's just a bit too forceful. And it, it could really react with your resin. It's good if you just got in certain areas um, where you want to emphasize certain things. But the the uh, airbrush is it's cold air and it, resin doesn't like cold i can tell you that so forget about the airbrush for doing resin art unless you're experienced and you're only going to use it very in a very controlled manner forget about it so just get for all the newbies out there get the heat gun any old heat gun the cheapest one will do the trick as long as it's got two settings high speed and low speed that's what you need okay and if you only got one setting my video cut out if you only got one setting that's fine you just go uh, a little bit lower if you want a bigger force and bring it back up if you want uh, a more subtle force so that's all i'm going to say about this i think um, there's quite a bit of information there and i hope you got something out of it so anyway until next time i love you all and bless you and stay safe please and keep creating bye for now